here's how to shake it off when a guy rejects you, maybe doesn't ask you out for a second date, or just straight up disses you in person. Ugh. Like, when I die, carve all this information on my headstone because I feel like I've experienced it, like, so hardcore. I get where you're coming from, ladies. Guys kind of have the right idea about dating and love and romance in general. To them, it's like fishing. They cast out their line again, 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 lots of different baits in the water, and they just wait for a bite. They don't get too attached to any one particular pathway. We, on the other hand, put all our eggs in a basket. We can't help it, we're females, that's how we're designed, survival mechanism, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter what it is, it's painful and it sucks. So we need to kind of take a cue from the boys and look at dating, whether it's online dating, whether it's flirting with someone, whether it's meeting someone at a party or whatever, as more of a fishing expedition. You wanna keep a lot of different baits in the water, a lot of different iron, irons in the fire. Here's another way to shake things off. Let go of what I have referred to before as the cocktail party moment. I talked about this in my video on how to get over a guy that you've never actually even dated, which sucks, I know. And it's kind of the same thing, like when you get rejected, part of that sting is not so much losing the guy because let's be honest you probably didn't know him that well it's the possibilities it's not the person it's the possibilities it's everything that you saw him projected into your life all of those awkward moments that you experience now as a single girl suddenly those are gone because he's here you're not at the party alone he's here you're not the family gathering being asked when are you going to settle down he's here let go of that let go of the moment, the cocktail party moment, where you project into the future, where you're telling other random people about how you met. I know, and so I swiped right, and he was like, oh, I hate cats, but I had a cat, but I don't know, he swiped back on me, and like, <laughs> it just worked. We get very attached to that projection, that story, that fairy tale ending, and it blinds us from the reality of who someone might be, and the reality, like, maybe they're not good for us, maybe we, don't even like them. Maybe we shouldn't put all our eggs in that basket. Maybe we should keep dating around. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to realize that like, this is a numbers game. You gotta get back out there, go, go, go. Also, this is my biggest tip. Everything you think this person embodies, write it down. I want you to make a list. Because when we are getting rejected, we hold so tight to like, but I don't want to meet someone else. I don't want to see the other fish in the sea. I want him, I want that fish. I'm fixated on that. Sorry, my light's flashing. And it's like we tell ourselves in some way that everything he has can never be duplicated, and that's false. Write a list of everything he has, from maybe the school he goes to, the job he has, how big his dick is, whatever it is, whatever it is. Write it down and then go one by one through those lists and ask yourself objectively and realistically, could you find this in someone else? Probably. There probably are other guys that go to USC. There probably are other guys that play Division I lacrosse. There probably are the guys who worked for hedge funds and have a nine inch penis. There probably are. So don't let yourself think that like this combination of traits is a one in a million. It's not. The only thing that's one in a million is you, girl. For more, <laughs> Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at ShallonXO. And if you have a love question of your own, leave it here in the comment section or as a YouTube message. And be sure to subscribe for weekly videos on love, sex, dating, friends, and everything in between.